Hey guys, every once in a while, I like to give someone a tip that I think might help them. Okay, so I am making a peach cobbler. I do already have a video on that, but right now I'm making my crust, um, the one that rises. So I'm going to show you what I do to make, oh, sorry about that. I hit the tripod. Now, when you put the butter in the pan, because you put a stick of butter in your pan when you're about to do your crust. Let me show you. I'm taking it out. Don't take it out too soon. Put this up here. Hold on. Get it all around the pan. And you wait for it to brown a little bit. Don't take it out right when it melts. Let it, right before it starts to burn, let it get a little bit brown. So, then I take my mixture for my crust and all this is. This is about a cup and a half of self-rising flour, um, a cup of milk, and a cup of sugar. That's all this is. Because this is the uh, the, the, the self-rising crust one. And the reason why you let that butter get a little bit brown is because, you, you know, it just gives it a better flavor. Okay, so you pour it right there in the middle. A lot of people pour it on the sides first. No, you pour it in the middle, and then you go around. And then you'll have it all up on your uh, your peach cobbler. And I add, oh, let me put all this on here. I add my peaches. I cook my peaches. So I add hot peaches to the mixture. Okay, I've already cooked my uh, my peaches, my peach mixer. And like I said, I do have a video on how I do this. But I add the peaches hot. And the reason why I do that, because before you even put this in the oven, you'll see that the crust starts to rise all up around the peaches. Look at that. You see how that crust is starting to rise already? And you kind of hear it sizzling. So I'm going to put all these peaches in this pan. And I want you to see it in real time, how that happens. Get some juice. I kind of put juice on the, uh, the sides too, so you guys can see how you see that? How it's just rising. And then I put it in the oven at between 350 and 375 for about 40 to 45 minutes. Look at that. I haven't even put it in the oven yet. It's already rising above those peaches. And that's why you do not stir when you put that, um, you know, when you use that crust, that self-rising crust on that butter, you don't stir it. And so I am going to put this in the oven and let it cook for about 45 minutes. And then we'll have ourselves a peach cobbler. This is this, this was just your tip for the day about the uh letting the butter kind of brown. And it's a better flavor too. It's a buttery, real good, flavorful crust. Okay, I wanted you guys to see what it looked like before it goes in the oven. So that's what it looks like before I even put it in the oven. You see all the crust have, has already almost came to the top. Okay, guys, the buzzer is about to go off so you can see exactly. There it goes. So you can see exactly what it looks like when it comes out the oven. And it's usually good, brown, and perfect. There you go. You see how kind of browning that butter kind of gets it a little bit more brown. And I, I baked it. Let me get you a little closer. I baked it for about 40 minutes. So between 40 and 45 minutes, it depends on how hot your oven gets. But that's my tip of the day for uh, making your crust with the butter, um, with the rising crust. 
All right, you guys like, comment, subscribe. You guys have a great day.